you? Man, you serious? Did something go down? That pink caped guy a kidnapper? Yes, and any information you could provide would be greatly appreciated. Well, I don't know nothing about no kidnapping, but I heard about an otaku robbing a maid cafe recently. Them creepy ass otaku scare the hell out of me. Never know when they're gonna snap and do something. I see. Thank you. That all? Good luck then. So a maid cafe was robbed by an otaku too. Did you really have to stress the otaku thing so hard? He sounded so... so... disgusted. Words hurt, you know. Idol fans are often treated the same way. It makes me so sad when I see news reports saying bad stuff about them. People shouldn't go around pinning the blame on otaku like that. Especially when they didn't even witness the crime. Honestly, spending time in Akihabara has changed my perspective. Now I just see otaku as focused on what they love. See, that's a healthy way to look at it. We're a town of devotees here, just devoted to different passions. How could someone actually pull off a kidnapping in a crowded place like this? I know, right? It's exploding on Quipper right now. Oh, hey! Do you guys know anything about a man in a pink cape? <laughs> Sorry to startle you. We're looking for a man in a pink cape and a small maid. You and everyone else who's heard the rumors. What rumors would those be? That a man in a pink cape kidnapped a maid. It's all over Quipper. Bingo! Does it say anything about the kidnapper's whereabouts? Um, the eyewitness reports pretty much stopped dead at the Animart on Main Street. Main Street? Got it, thanks. What just happened? What do I do? It would be pointless to try again. This is a real pickle. Um, excuse me, is something wrong? Oh, no, no. I've just grown a bit worried. I'm the manager of this figurine shop, you see, and it feels like my customer base has been, well, shrinking of late. Shrinking? Hmm, you don't think? Yeah, we could have a potential to loser situation on our hands. Let's pick his brain a bit. Sir, I was just wondering, is your shop in danger of closing as a result of your low customer base? Mm, not exactly. It's not an immediate concern, at least. But if things keep up like this, it could become one. If it's all right with you, could I ask? 
ask for a few more details about your specific situation? Well, th that's a rather odd thing to ask. It's fine, I suppose, but it'll just be me grumbling for 20 minutes or so. These days, everyone's buying things off the internet, so I've been trying to come up with some ways to up my numbers. One of the ways to do that, I realized, was to try targeted marketing towards female customers. That makes sense. In my experience, when women find something they like, they stick with it for a long time. Right. Characters popular for even the shortest of time still have lesions of female fans utterly devoted to them. So I, uh, figured I'd start steadily targeting women with my figurine orders, and the shipments began pouring in. But I'm not exactly a ladies' man. I guess you could say I built it, but they haven't come. I need to find some ways to attract more female customers and make them feel comfortable in my store. Well, if that's all you're worried about, maybe I could try bringing in some female business for you. I'm pretty good at appealing to the feminine mind, if I do say so myself. For real? You do that for me? That would totally save my hide. If you're serious about helping, well, I hate to ask, but would you pass these flyers out to girls around town? Specifically, girls who seem like they get anime, passionate and bubbly. They're the key to good sales. Got it. I'll come back after I spread the word. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the help. Uh, Saki? Is this really the time to be volunteering for a marketing job? It's fine. It might even be related to the delusions in some way. And it gives us a good excuse to talk to people. want to, but, like... Those two seem promising. Let's go talk to them. Excuse me, you two wouldn't happen to be into figurines, would you? Huh? Uh, well... See, we heard that this place just started selling figurines of the characters from our favorite anime. Right, but, well, we've never been to a figurine shop before, and we're a little skeeved. These places are such boys' clubs, right? Oh, I know what you mean. But if that's all that's bothering you, never fear. Instead, here, take one of these flyers. What's this now? This shop is trying to expand to the female fan base. The owner wants it to be a no-pressure, fun kind of place. Oh, let me see. Look, look! It's an Azure Plum figurine! And an Emerald Plum one, too! Naturally, the second and third sons are just so dreamy. Well, what do you think? Can we count on your business? Oh, absolutely. We'll head on in right now. Yeah, I've got a pretty good feeling about this place. Thanks so much. We look forward to seeing you there. Nailed it! A two for even! You've got the business smile down, Pat, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm kind of used to it at this point. Used to it? Saki? Pretty sure that girl's a bona fide otaku. All right, score! Let's give her one of the flyers. Excuse me, but you seem troubled. Is everything okay? Everything is not okay. I thought she was my friend, dog. She knew how much I love my sweet crimson plum. But then she went ahead and did it anyway. 
she just popped onto her sock puppet account and started quipping how much bigger a fan she is. Cold F. Am I right? Ugh. Just thinking about it makes me so, 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 so angry. Crimson Plum? Sock puppets? Asahi, explain. Crimson Plum is a popular anime hero, and sock puppets are secret secondary online accounts used for nefarious ends. Oh, okay then. I was the one who introduced her to him. Me! And now this? What in the ever-loving fudge is her major malfunction? So, this Crimson Plum, what kind of character is he? Oh, he's just the cutest!